State Republican Senate leaders are taking advantage of redistricting to get rid of two of their most outspoken critics. The Senate map approved today would essentially force out two Democrats, including the only openly LGBTQ state senator. WRAL Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie joins us live from the state legislative building where that vote took place this afternoon. Laura. Lena, the senators are being ousted using a, te- a tactic that's called double bunking. It's been used for years by leaders in both parties to get rid of members that they don't like. State lawmakers are required to live in the district they represent. So to get rid of someone, map makers just redraw that district to exclude that member's address. And that puts them into a district with another incumbent, which is where we get the term double bunking. Well, this time the targets are Senator Natasha Marcus of Mecklenburg County and Senator Lisa Grafstein of Wake County, the only openly LGBTQ lawmaker in the state Senate. Both Grafstein and Marcus have been very outspoken critics of Republican leadership this year, especially on issues like abortion rights and anti-LGBTQ bills. Now, the new Senate map forces both of them out of their current districts and into districts they're unlikely to win. So these lawmakers, of course, were elected by their districts. Is it legal for other lawmakers to just force them out? It is legal, but they're not going quietly. Senator Natasha Marcus today on the Senate floor called it undemocratic and unfair. This is the second time in two years that Republican leaders have tried to use voting maps to force her out. Yeah, I do feel like the the message here is keep your mouth shut, we might let you stay, but if you challenge us, if you speak up too much, if you say things that hurt our feelings, <laughs> we're going to find a way to get rid of you. Sometimes folks feel entitled to, uh, to, to have a certain uh, outcome as far as maps are concerned and uh, decisions get made that uh, are not personal, they're made for other reasons. That was Senate Leader Phil Berger, a Republican. He denied that Marcus and Grafstein were intentionally targeted or that it was related to their criticism of Republican proposals. However, the Democrats showed evidence today that neither senator really had to be double bunked, and Republican senators voted down an amendment to fix it. The new map should be finalized tomorrow, and they'll be in effect for the 2024 elections. Unless they're put on hold by a judge, it's already clear they'll be challenged in court. All right. Laura Leslie, we're putting line force at the state legislative building. Thank you.